This lesson shows you how you can use a form in an HTML page to get input from the user and post that input to a servlet. This HTML page accepts three numbers from the user and uses the values to issue a POST command to a servlet. The servlet then displays all three numbers and displays whichever of the three is the largest. Here is the HTML page. It uses a form to accept the input of the three numbers and the submit button gathers the values from that input window and creates a post request that is sent to the servlet specified in the action option of the form tag. The method used by this form to send information is specified as post so the message sent will arrive at the do post method in the servlet. Notice the names of the three values, number one, number two, and number three. The packaging of the post command includes the strings entered by the user, with each one of them tagged with one of these names. Now for the servlet. Start over with the typing. Here you can see that the same import statements are at the top and that the do post method is the one that is overridden and filled out. The do post method has the same arguments, request and response as the do get method had in the previous example. The get parameter method of the request object is called once for each of the three values. In the call it uses the names of the values to return the string entered by the user. Now to keep things simple, there is no error checking in this program. If the string entered into the HTML is something other than a number, this program will simply fail in a very embarrassing way. This is not something you would want to put into a production environment. Now these two lines of code here compare the numbers and determine which of the three is the largest. The rest of the program generates the output page. It displays the three original values, then displays whichever one of them is the largest. The compile script from the previous example will work. All it does is compile every Java source file in this directory into a class file. Now this example requires the deployment of an HTML file as well as the servlet, so a slight modification has been made to the make war script. The only thing that has changed is the end of this last line. The name of the HTML file has been added. It's a regular HTML file, so while it goes in the war file, it does not go into the web INF directory. It stays in the main directory just as we did with the JSP files earlier. Oh yes, the new servlet entries were made into the web XML file. The new entries are the same as the existing ones. They just use the new servlet name. So the new war file can be built by running the script and all that's left is to deploy it and then run it. There, it's deployed, and now we can address that new web page just like any other web page.
So to make it work, we enter three numbers. We select the Submit button, and the servlet is sent the POST command. The window gives way to the output from the servlet, and we see the three numbers and the statement showing which one of the three is the largest. Now this is not the most breathtaking of applications, but you can see how the POST command can be used to get information and pass it on to a servlet.